Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. It's your buddy Uncle Bruce here today. <clears throat> nice to have you joining me this morning. Today is uh, Wednesday, April the 5th, uh, 2023. Uh, I'm just noticing a couple of uh, headlines coming through. Uh, import and export numbers into the USA are both lower this last uh, month. Um, that is a sign of a slowing U.S. economy and a slowing import or export economy uh, the rest of the world. Uh, this is more evidence of a slowing down of economic activity. <clears throat> Just had uh, ADP job uh, uh, estimates uh, creating, uh, coming out 141,000 jobs created in March. Uh, the expected number was to be 200,000. 140 is the number they're saying see how that plays into the market at the moment the dow is off just five points um sp down two nasdaq's up 13. this could be why, uh, good for the economy why because the economy um, is worried about higher interest rates and if you have a slowing economy slowing job creation maybe the interest rate rise is working and that will take the heat off the fed to not have to keep raising rates as much We'll see how that plays out. U.S. trade deficit widens 2.7% in February to $70 billion. That's still a negative number in a way because it shows how expensive U.S. goods are for the rest of the world to acquire. Uh, and yet the U.S. Uh, still keeps buying more than it sells. Um, keeps buying much more than it sells. Excuse me. Um, yesterday we heard uh, and and i mentioned to you the the report that came out about uh job openings 9.9 uh, .9 million job openings versus 10 there used, that used to be 12 million six months ago there were 12 million jobs available that were unfilled now it's 9.9 .9 million so this number is coming down uh and this is again what experts have been calling for for a year they've been waiting for this thing it's this is what's going to happen we're going to have a, a tighter economy well we'll see how it goes we are of course hearing non-stop stories about companies doing layoffs non-stop we've heard this news uh, from just everywhere um this morning uh, federal express made an announcement saying that they're increasing their dividend by 10 percent they're boosting the dividend to the shareholders by 10 percent this is a company that did layoffs layoff announcements just a few months ago shocking number of layoff announcements from their head office and elsewhere um why would they do that why would federal express increase their dividend to their shareholders simple answer um they're they're trying the the board of directors wants the stock of fedex not to go down in value they would like it to make, stay higher and the management of fedex wants the stock to stay higher why is that these guys get paid in a combination of cash and stock options and look uh, if you're a ceo or uh, you know uh, the, the head of the legal department you're the head of the accounting department you're you're on the board of directors of this company you have perks and one of these perks sometimes is the use of the company jet and uh, there's more than one company jet at fedex and many other companies uh, but why would a company raise their dividend up it's so that the shareholders at large don't want to sell their shares to get a better return somewhere else the return for a shareholder is multiple your multiple places to get it one is just the stock goes up in price you buy it, buy it here this year, and three years later, it's trading up here. You're a happy investor. The second one is um, for some folks, they're option writers uh, who compound their returns. They're very smart people. Uh, but another one is uh, pension funds, hedge funds, mutual funds are looking for income, especially pension funds, and they they hold stock like Federal Express and others, and they receive the dividend every quarter. Well, if you get a dividend boost coming from FedEx, they've announced a 10% boost in the dividend. You're not going to sell the stock right now. You're going to haul in more dividend money as compared to the dividend money coming in from other companies and or from U.S. Treasury notes. And there's the competitor. The government of the United States of America is issuing bonds every week to fund its deficits. And interest is being paid to any investor who wants to buy this stuff and the uh, big buyers of u.s debt 
happen to be pension funds because pension funds like holding AAA credit. They don't like holding junk bonds. <clears throat> so the Federal Reserve is offering a, a 4% interest for a 30-day note and a 3% interest on a 10-year note. And FedEx is offering a, d a dividend yield of blah, blah, blah. You're below the U U.S. rate. You're losing to U.S. Treasuries. If the, Fed if the dividend rate of FedEx just holding that company is equal to or better than a Treasury note, you might, as a, as an, as a, as a uh, administrator of a pension fund and billions of dollars of people's money, no matter, no matter what you are, a hedge fund manager, mutual fund, ETF, you might decide, yes, we're going to keep our 500,000 shares of FedEx in our portfolio. We're going to keep those shares because the dividend coming in from that stock pays us just as much or a good return compared to the treasury market. This is the problem with higher interest rates. The higher interest rates go, the higher the bond yields get. The higher the bond yields get, the lower the bond prices go, but the higher the yields and fresh money is looking for best return it can get. And sometimes money has to be, a decision has to be made. We have a million shares of FedEx. Let's sell half of it, keep half, and put the other, put that dough that we just took out into another company that pays a better dividend or has a better opportunity to grow their dividend or put it into treasuries for now and we'll look for the better deal later. Uh, so this move <clears throat> from FedEx is likely because Wall Street insiders the, the heavies at wall street are making calls to the directors at fedex saying you guys may want to consider the idea of improving your dividend payout on your stock uh, based on you know where we're at here with this market and this economy and the interest rates and everything else just just put giving you the heads up that's part part of what wall street does and so there you go. Um, keep in mind, these insiders, these top insiders of these companies, as I was talking about these private jets, these top insiders, uh, some of them are provided company jets for their, to go for various events. Uh, some are not. Some have to fund themselves. And um, if you're a, a million dollar a year uh, employee, two million dollar a year employee, that's nice. But uh, you might be making five, 10 and 20 million a year at, on your stock on those options you've been granted over the years of service. You've been an employee for 15 years and you've been getting stock options for 15 years and you exercise options today that you were granted three or four years ago. Um, and these folks are from time to time buying stock from the company, selling stock in the open market and booking in a $3 million gain, a $5 million gain. And this supplements their income rather nicely, which allows them to, to afford the lifestyle of the individual that can charter a private jet and where this where today are private jets flying to in the United States where where in the United States are a zillion private jets going today Georgia why are they going to Georgia what the hell's going on in Georgia? oh the Augusta National the Masters is being held this weekend in Augusta Georgia there's a whole bunch of private planes that have been landing in Augusta all week long and where were they last weekend <clears throat> gee what was going on last weekend what was the big thing something about college basketball or something like that yeah, that's right they were heading to Vegas um uh, to a bet and hang out there because big four is a big deal in las vegas where were private jets flying in february um uh, oh there was this annual ritual known as the super bowl they were flying to scottsdale because the game was being held in phoenix and flying to vegas because the super bowl is a big deal in vegas as well these private jets with these corporate entity these corporate people on board um they're flying around having a wonderful time and we and they thank you the investor for the opportunity especially those of you out there who have money tied up with these large wealth advisory firms they really appreciate the the opportunity to manage your hundreds of billions of dollars collectively because they're getting their two percent management fee no matter how well or how badly you're doing and this helps fund the lifestyle of the uh, 
I don't want to call them the rich and famous because they're not famous, uh, but they're rich. Um, they're really enjoying it. And um, thank you very much. Uh, you ever want to wonder, <clears throat> you ever curious about um, uh, what, what, what kind of a big deal private jets are? Uh, go to YouTube. Uh, you're here. Um, after the show, do a search for uh, plane spotting. Um, you can find uh, videos of uh, private jets and of course, regular airline jets coming and going anywhere in the world. But um, plane spotting in Scottsdale for the Super Bowl this year. Uh, there were folks at the airports who who just love to film planes landing and taking off these private jets. And they tell you how, how old the jet is, uh, where it's coming from, and how long it took to get there, or where it's going to, and how long it'll take to get there. It's fascinating. You just sit there and watch these these private jets land and you go, oh, well, that one is a, an eight-year-old blah, blah, blah jet just coming in from uh, uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. Well, that that's a nice area. Uh, yeah, coming from West Palm Beach to Scottsdale. Not a, not a bad place to go from and go to, don't you think? Uh, telling you how long it took direct flight private jet. You kind of go, wow, gee, if I wanted to fly from West Palm Beach, Florida to Scottsdale, I'd have to connect on this airline to here, to here, to here. <laughs> Got to get to the airport three hours early before my flight goes off. Uh, this whole flight's four hours. The whole flight. I can get on a private jet 10 minutes before departure. I can just get there, get on the plane, bring my own booze with me if I want to cut my costs. <laughs> I can stop at Costco on the way to my private jet, bring my beer and booze with me and my mix and some snacks, and eat on my private plane as I am uh, flying for four hours to uh, Scottsdale. Uh, or I can have it all catered if I if I've uh, arranged it with my with my people. Uh, pretty nice gig. Um, what kind of people uh, take private jets? Let me tell you. Uh, this morning there was an article, uh, uh, a headline that I caught this morning, talking about um, some financial uh, advisors, uh, an advisor, adv a financial advisory group is is way I have to is how I have to say this. Um, uh, from uh, first uh, first capital, I believe it's called um, um, a first a first republic uh, FRC, I think it is a first republic bank. Um, uh, this is the bank that you heard last week, week before they got thirty billion dollars in in uh, emergency lending from some of the bigger banks to keep them afloat. Uh, first republic bank, that's what it's called. Uh, first republic bank um, lost a ten point eight billion dollar advisory team to Morgan Stanley. So. Um, uh, there's a group of uh, employees over there, maybe six, eight, 10, 15 of them who uh, manage a bunch of clients dough worth $10.8 billion. And they got wooed by uh, Morgan Stanley to come on over here, bring your clients with you and set up shop here. We've got some nice offices for you. And as a little, as a little kicker, little perk, um, why, why, why don't we get you on the old company jet and fly to Augusta for the weekend and you can catch the Masters uh, or you know you might be busy for the next month or two get all your act to, act together get all your assets over here as soon as your 10.8 billion lands here and it's all in our books now you get yourself some jet time how about how about a little perk like uh, we'll take the Gulf Stream we'll fire up the Gulf Stream and uh, why don't uh, two of you uh, you know two of you five advisors grab your wives and the four of you fly on the company jet to Paris for the weekend why don't you do that um, why don't we fly over to uh, London or to uh, Rome? Or, where, where do you want to go? Where, where would you like to go? You go anywhere you want. This, the planes we have at Morgan Stanley, they fly great distances. Uh, we have these Gulf Streams that uh, can go 9,000 miles on a trip. So where would you like to where would you like to go nonstop? Thanks for bringing your business over. In the meantime, First uh, Republic is losing another $10.8 billion in assets. This is the slow leakage that these banks are are faced with. Here's First Republic getting $30 billion of cash from banks to survive and stay alive. And here's $10.8 billion walking out the back door. That's what's going on with a whole bunch of regional banks right now. This is the stuff that you do not see on the front page of the New York Times. And you're not going to hear about it on Fox television because <laughs> That's bad news. That's anti-Republican talk. You don't talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, these folks are walking with their money. And uh, very wealthy people have a nasty habit of wanting to keep their money very, very safe. And they move 
their money first and find out later what's going on. Uh, they don't they don't stick around to ask questions. And I wouldn't be surprised at all that these wealth advisors at this particular bank were getting calls of concern, calls of concern from some of the $10.8 billion of clientele money they're saying. They might have been getting calls of concern from their lawyers, from their senior auditors, from their other financial advisors saying, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Jones are uh, a little concerned about their $400 million sitting with your bank right now. We're not quite sure if we want to stay there right now, or we're not quite, you know, how, how are those deposits going? And so this team of, of advisors are being bombarded by all the other bankers because the bankers just stepped in, gave that bank 30 billion to keep it running. Uh, at the same time, the other divisions of these banks, okay, the wealth management divisions of all those banks are calling all of their wealth advisors going, yeah, listen, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we, I know that your bank just got $30 billion of assistance, but, uh, you know, um, why don't you, uh, why don't you consider uh, bringing your favorite clients uh, over to, uh, to our, our company? And uh, we, we, we've got $500 billion of, of assets we we control two billion two trillion dollars of assets uh, this might be an easy sell for you right now and it's probably a good way to free to retain your clientele because what they're not saying to them but they are saying it to them uh, in not so many words is if you don't shift your butts to another institution that's larger and much more stable you're going to be picked apart your clients are going to be taken away from you you're going to be pecked by all the other advisory firms out there they're going straight to your clients and they're going to say why don't you consider moving some of your money to us like you've got 500 million with these guys why don't you move 400 million of it with us and leave 100 million over at first republic and, you know that's 100 million you can risk to lose but with 400 million with us you're not going to lose that money because the last thing we need is this bank to go under and have all your money tied up for weeks and weeks can't do anything with it think about all the folks that uh, at uh, at the silicon valley we don't want to do that this game is going on big time we are talking hundreds of billions of dollars that are at risk all over the planet here with all institutions at all times and if you're an asset manager and you are handling accounts of 10.4 billion dollars you are the bell of the ball right now at a failing institution your institution is, is trying to hang on to you and other institutions are trying to get you to walk. And um, I'll tell you, you and your clientele are uh, really popular right now. And one of the perks that are ha is handed up from time to time is a, a little jet ride. Now, think about this. You happen to have $200 million being managed by a firm on your behalf. And they're charging you 2% of the top. Uh, um, you're, you're paying $4 million a year in fees. Do you, do you think that they might contact you from time to time to uh, uh, ask you uh, that they know that you're a huge Yankee fan? You're, you just love the Yankees since you were a kid. Do you think that from time to time they contact you in good old Iowa or in Arizona or wherever the heck you live and suggest, um, hey, listen, uh, uh, Joe Schmuck, you know, I'm your asset manager sitting here in Manhattan. Uh, you're down in West Palm Beach. Why don't, why don't I send the uh, the corporate jet? My boss just told me to send the corporate jet down to your uh, part of the world. And why don't you come up here for the weekend and catch a Yankee game, and, and we'll go out for dinner, and we'll talk about your investments. And uh, we've got the corporate suite here at Yankee Stadium, uh, and we'll limit you in, and we'll put you up in the Park Plaza Hotel. After all, it's just them spending your money. <laughs> it's your $4 million that they're just reinvesting in you. This is a little perk you get for the $4 million you're giving them anyway to manage your money. Uh, and so they're giving you back uh, two hundred and fifty grand in perks for a nice lavish weekend with a Broadway play and a couple nice meals and a $1,000 a night, $2,000 a night, $5,000 a night room. It's all good. It's all, it's all the, firm is the firm is taking care of it. It's all the firm. Yeah, it's your four million dollars that you're paying these guys. And this is the name of the game. Now, look, um, if you are a uh, uh, an observer of uh, bank stocks and you're an observer of economies, and you're worried about the U.S. economy slowing down, you're looking for evidence of that kind of information. You're looking for 
For example, uh, you're hearing about banks in trouble. You want to know if a bank's in trouble. Here's a couple of ways to figure it out. One, is there a run on investments? Uh, if depositors are running out their money, <laughs> you know, that, that's not good news. Two, um, if wealth clients, clients with a lot of money under administration are walking to other institutions, that's a bad sign uh, for your for that bank over there. Um, and the third one is uh, when a bank makes a disclosure, like yesterday, uh, an outfit uh, stock symbol WAL, um, this is called, I believe, a Western Alliance uh, Bank Corp. Yeah, WAL. They announced yesterday uh, uh, how they're doing. Um, <clears throat> uh, they gave some kind of an update or something like that. And uh, uh, Western Alliance did not mention uh, in their update how their depositor situation is looking. Uh, they didn't mention uh, and weren't clear enough, I guess, for the street. Just not quite clear enough that uh, they convinced the street that they're not having a run on deposits. Um, and this morning, the stock is off a seven and a half percent, down 250 a share to 3103. This company is tiny, $3.8 billion market cap. Uh, their market cap was at one time two and a half times this. Maybe it was maybe six, seven billion dollars. Um, three months ago, the shares were as high as $78, uh, $80 a share on February the 2nd. They're now $31. Uh, so there's a haircut for you. Um, the haircut started uh, just after March the 3rd. They were sitting at $75.60 on March the 3rd. By uh, March the 8th, they were at $71.50. Uh, March the 9th, they were at $62.30. Um, uh, let's see here if I can go March 10th. They were down to 49, 34, uh, March 13th after the weekend, 26, 12. Uh, you know what that's known as? Uh, we have a sound effect for that here on this channel. It's called, zzz, uh, yeah, there you go. Just zzz, down it went. It's now $31 a share. Um, and you can imagine there's a whole bunch of attention being paid to that little bank by everybody. Uh, the federal reserve, all the depositors, the wealth clients, they're all watching what the hell's going on over there. And maybe some are watching and are not asking questions. They're walking. They're taking their money out. When a bank uh, loses depositors, of course, that's a sign. Uh, when they don't disclose how they're doing, that could be a sign. Uh, another one is, and this is what's beginning to happen at apparently 47% of U.S. banks right now, 47% of U.S. banks have tightened their lending requirements. What does that mean? What does that mean when a bank says we're tightening our lending requirements? In, in effect, could mean a number of things, but one of the things that it means is we, our bank, is worried that we might have a run from our depositors because of the contagion effect. If, if this bank fails and this bank fails, or it seems to be failing, it might be failing, people pull their money out and ask questions later. Banks that need to have liquidity uh, for potential withdrawals, one way to do it is to have deposit money come in and not lend, lend, lend any of it out. So you restrict lending dramatically and you do not do uh, loans to, uh, you know, uh, two guys coming in the, in the branch wanting to borrow $300,000 to build a new restaurant in downtown Peoria. You don't uh, offer those loans right now. <coughs> they might have assets. They, uh, I'm putting up my house, and I'm going to put up <coughs> put up my pension fund. They've got assets they want to pledge, but the bank, no matter how good the loan is, it are not going. They're not going to issue a loan for three hundred thousand dollars to these guys. They're going to keep the three hundred grand in the vault. It's all it's all digital. They're going to keep that money in the vault just in case there's withdrawals. Um. Regular clients like large corporate clients that have revolving credit lines may find that the revolving credit line of 85 million might be cut to 60 million dollars. Uh, smaller credit credit line outfits may find that they get cut right down by by 50, 60 percent. They get cut back, where banks all of a sudden pull back lending requirements or or, or make it difficult, more difficult to get lending requirements as high as normal because they're worried about withdrawals. This is a sign of a slowing economy, 
a tightening money supply and banks worried about getting withdrawn out of business. They've watched the Silicon Valley disappear in 48 hours. A $250 billion bank erased from existence in 48 hours. They're looking at Sig Signature Bank in New York with all of their problems, including, oh, the insiders sold a bunch of their stock last year. <laughs> Go figure when they had the crypto problems. They started dumping their own stock and no one knew about it. There's those nightmares too. Um, you as an investor out there, as an observer of the economy, uh, as a trader, as an option writer, you have to keep atten pay attention to this stuff and just kind of keep your eyes open and see what's really going on. And uh, these are the little signs, little, little hints that there's trouble in paradise and the days of free money are over. The days of zero interest rates are gone forever. Ever. As, go, as far as our lifetimes are, are going, if you're 40 and over, the days of free money have ended. We've seen it. It happened. It lasted 15 years, and it's now gone. If you're 25 and 30 and 35 years old, maybe when you're 60 or 70 again, you might see it again, and you'll go, oh, I remember when I was a young whippersnapper. I used to watch this hairless Canadian on YouTube, and your kids and grandkids are going, what's YouTube? Uh, yeah, he was a homeless guy, and he was talking about free and money, and I remember those days, and your great-grandkids are going to go, Grandpa, you are uh, losing it. Uh, what a guy doesn't even know how to turn on his flux capacitor. The guy doesn't know anything. Welcome to the future, kids. It's going to be bright. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> we have to keep an eye on this stuff today, unfortunately, uh, just the way it is. Welcome all to the uh, channel today, <laughs> to the grumpy old man. We're down five points on the Dow. We're down two points on the S&P, and the uh, Nasdaq is up 13 points. That's it. Oil is down seven cents. And do you think oil is running away to $110 a barrel? Think again, Chester. It ain't happening. I don't even know if we can hold 80 bucks today. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if next week we're back to 76 a barrel. It just wouldn't surprise me. In the least, uh, oil is everywhere. And the talk that's coming out of the U.S. today, these economic headlines that are coming up, slowing economy. Uh, uh, put two and two together, Chester. If you have the U.S. going into a recession, China going into a recession, Europe's at war and going into a recession, where is this oil consumption coming from? What, what do you need it for? Um, it's not going to happen. It, it's just not. There's no demand increase from the world for crude. There's none, zero. This so-called driving season effect, that is bunk. That is all BS. There is oil in the pipeline everywhere. Uh, gasoline available anywhere you want it. Uh, there is no shortage of this product whatsoever. There's no way this crude is going anywhere, period. The reality is the folks at OPEC, the members of OPEC, Forget the Saudis because they're the ones with the dough. Everybody else, uh, okay, UAE, I'll give them a break as well because they're well run. But a good chunk of the OPEC members are dysfunctional. They are uh, they are military juntas run by dictators uh, where uh, the very, very poor get jack squat and the top 5% live high on the hog because they get all that dough. They pay bribes. They demand bribes. If you want to do business in these countries, you have to pay off all kinds of officials to get anything done. This is the way of that world, okay? Um, these guys aren't producing their quotas. So they have the ability to produce 4 million barrels a day, 1.5 million barrels a day, whatever their quota is, okay? They can't meet their quota because they're so inept and they're so corrupt that they've been ripping them their own selves off from the top all the way down, there is no money for the infrastructure of their actual business that keeps their military juntas alive. This is how short-sighted these guys are because they're here for a good time as long as those good times last. They're not here to invest in the country's future over the next several generations. They don't think that way. These guys think later today, can I get my bribe money? Do I get my suitcase full of cash at the end of the week or, or or tomorrow or however, 
Uh, I, I need to make a, a, a payment for some nice furniture for my villa in the French Riviera. Uh, my kid is going to school in Luzon and I need 20 grand in, 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 in tuition money and, and, and blah, 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 blah. They, they have got concerns that their fellow countrymen can't imagine, can't imagine the lifestyle these guys are leading. And they're getting paid off by the generals and the presidents and, and the prime ministers and all these top officials of these state-run companies that are bribing off all of these top officials to keep these guys running. So OPEC is completely dysfunctional. It is not able to produce enough oil for its actual gross quota. So by dropping its quota, they're in effect saying, well, well, we'll produce this much less oil now and make a shortage in the market. And the market is going, yeah, right. You're only producing this much right now. That's, that's all you're able to produce. You can't produce another barrel. And in the next six months, a year, we know about this country and that country and that country. Uh, these oil fields that these guys are running are completely out of uh, spare parts. Uh, you haven't paid off. You haven't paid your bills to these people to run this oil field. The Russians are behind in paying for their services. These companies are walking away from these uh, countries going, I'm not working here anymore. We're not going to provide oil and gas services because you're not paying your freaking bills. And so the production goes down and down and down. Look at Venezuela sitting on one of the largest supplies of sweet crude, the good stuff, the high quality thin oil that comes out of the ground, easy to refine, to turn into gasoline. Venezuela imports gasoline into its country. Yes, refined gasoline is imported into Venezuela. They're that dysfunctional. And this is one of the world's most powerful potentially one of the most powerful economic uh, countries on the planet they could be the world's eighth largest economy if they ever got their act together can't get their act together too many bribes being paid to too many people for too many decades and nothing is getting done and venezuelans are leaving the country in droves because they're starving to death and they've got what thousand percent of uh, inflation every month it's just insanity that is the reality of the oil business and uh, and of much of the OPEC's partnerships out there. It is a farce. It is a laugh factory. And it's all being led right now. The entire OPEC mantra is being led by one guy, the guy that gets journalists hacked to pieces in his embassy in Turkey, our buddy from Saudi Arabia, uh, the crown prince, whatever his name is. Who gets people chopped up uh that is the guy running opec right now and he's uh he's being looked at as a as the as a savior of opec it's a joke and we're supporting these morons by driving gasoline burning vehicles we just keep we just keep beating ourselves up it's just amazing to me it just blows my mind we don't want to pay the price uh deep down the side to get rid of these idiots we'd rather tolerate them because eh, it's somebody else's problem. Let somebody else deal with it. Eh, whatever. I got my own problems. I hear you. I hear you. It's okay. Let's be option writers and make money. Uh, do not fear the upside, kids. So there's so much ineptness, so much ineptitude out there. There can't be upside. <laughs> uh, if if uh, the rest of the planet were as well run as Apple is run, or as well run as uh, some of the other great organizations out there are run, we'd have problems. We, we'd have problems with option writing because stocks just keep going up all the time on it. But we don't have that problem. Uh, there aren't that many uh, really well run entities. Uh, <laughs> and many entities, even Apple, um, they're not perfect either because Apple has a uh, an image problem. They're desperately trying to um, not make it about them when it comes to where are your phones made where, where are these manufactured where all the components that are made that are from this thing where, where are those made and manufactured you know where it is china uh, china they're all made in china apple has a china problem and um apple is desperately trying to not have a china problem uh but they have a china problem because they have to keep china happy because they have that Chinese market that they want to be into. Um, but they also would like to have phones not made in China so much and maybe have big ass iPads and computers. 
they would like to have more merchandise not made in China so much and made elsewhere to convince the world that they're not supporting the Chinese government in their aggressive uh, military tactics and uh, dreams and aspirations. Um, that's a problem. Uh, when you're the world's number one capitalized corporation, um, your market cap is over $2 trillion, and 90% uh, of your existence is because of China. Makes it, uh, makes it tough. So the folks in Cupertino are very busy with every ad campaign they run, with every marketing thing they try to put together, that there is no talk in the open about the fact that their products are made in China, sourced in China, all the spare parts are made in China, and that this device, the latest version of this device, can be produced for $25, $35, $40 $40 max from nothing to, to completely operating for $35, $40. Bucks. And then you get the opportunity to finance the acquisition of this product through your telephone company for $1,000 to $1,500 per copy. There's some serious money in them there, Hills, and that is why the Cupertino headquarters is a $5 billion building. That is why the, the Apple people are very well paid. American employees of Apple are phenomenal people. Smart, bright, brilliant, hardworking, uh, earning a lot of money, and they deserve it. They are part of a very successful corporation. The only Achilles heel to the whole thing is just the flawed the flawed business plan, uh, making it in a, what is a, at one time a third world type scenario, but making it in a factory setting where um, employees commit suicide, um, uh, don't like working for Foxconn, uh, have all kinds of issues. And oh yeah, they have an oppressive government that just snuffs out any kind of uh, um, questioning of authority. Uh, like, why are we working 14 hours a day? Put that guy in prison. Get, get Let's get that guy out of here. We don't need questions like that. We can't have questions like that. Um, get back to work. Uh, you have no time to to talk about working conditions and and everything else. Uh, we have time here to 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 be uh, to make the country successful. Okay. Uh, why is it that the top communist officials live like uh, kings and we live like paupers? Uh, get right, get that girl out of here and put her over into a re-education camp. We got to we got to get their, th these people got to get their heads straight. Um, these folks are obviously they do not know what they're talking about. Apple has this little issue um, where millions of people who work for them indirectly are not doing too well. And uh, we, of course, are doing great. Uh, the phones work wonderfully. The iPads are really cool. The computers are wonderful. And what can I say? It's it's all good here. Um, but th there are these little nagging little thingies hanging out there. But that, that, let's not go there. Anyway, thank you for, for popping in and saying hi. Um, it's great to see you all today. Thank you for these uh, thumbs ups. If you're hitting the thumbs up button for us today, I really appreciate it. Please keep the thumbs ups coming in. Thank you to all of you folks on the rerun who are watching uh, this show. Um, those of you who hit the thumbs ups on the uh, on the uh, rerun, I appreciate that too. We have 86 thumbs ups in the house already, going for 200 this morning. I appreciate it. We're uh, opening in 19 minutes. Now, there's a thing crawling along the bottom here right now. You see this right here? See this? Attention, prime time with Uncle Bruce. We'll be live tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern time, not 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock tonight, uh, one hour earlier for this week only. Another a piece of attention that is not in this announcement that you need to be aware of, the stock market is closed this Friday, Easter Friday. The markets are closed. I will not be on the air Easter Friday. If the markets are off, I'm off. So you'll see me, though some of you will see me on Saturday morning. You'll see me Saturday morning for class number 15 live. Now, Saturday morning, my time. It's 11 o'clock, my time. 2 o'clock Eastern time, Saturday afternoon for the Eastern viewers. Class number 15 is coming to a uh, YouTube channel near you uh, by invitation only. If you would like to be in my class this Saturday, Easter Saturday, uh, be getting a little smarter about how uh, options work on the uh, Deep in the Money Call Arena, uh, then make a donation to our PayPal channel or PayPal account. 150 US dollars will get you a slot into the live class. Auntie Jen is going to be the moderator of the class. She's going to keep me on top of all of your questions 
as we go into Poor Man Covered Call Advanced Writing Strategies uh, this Saturday. So if you're already writing calls uh, just on stock or you've been thinking about it and now you have also noticed that we talk about writing stock options on options, you're going, well, this sounds interesting, um, and you want to get a better handle on that, you may want to be part of the class on Saturday to get in on that. Um, it'll run about two to two and a half hours. It's usually how long we hang out, kind of the length of one of these shows. And um, you're welcome to uh, to make questions. What, what happens is you'll see me on the air like this. Uh, I'll have in the background this thing right here. Uh, let, me, let me show you, folks. Here it is. It's ready to roll. Here it is, Davis. Woohoo! The whiteboard is here. Here it is. We're ready to go on the old whiteboard. Um, we'll be doing. We'll be using that on the show, like we always do. And if you have a question, all you need to do is uh, type in your question, like you're typing in comments here, and uh, away we go. So I look forward to this Saturday's class, two o'clock Eastern time. Um, a number of you have uh, already signed up. The usual suspects have already signed up, as as I suspected. The names that I see here on my sheet, because I hand write down this stuff, as <laughs> this never crashes when you use a pen and paper. Uh, the names on this sheet represent pretty well the most successful option writers this channel has. Uh, it's it's it, each and every time. It just it just works that way. Now. A number of you can't join me this weekend. I get it. I know. It's Easter weekend. Uh, there are familial obligations. There are situations. I totally get it. You can't make it. Uh, it's all right. Um, the good news is the class will air live on Saturday to those of you who can make the show. For those of you who can't, by next Wednesday, Thursday, hopefully, Emily, my editor, will have it edited. Um, i got to get a hold of Emily. Emily, you watching? How you doing? Hope you're right. Um, I got to get Emily on it. Uh, she'll edit the uh, class for me. We'll upload it to my website. And then all of you out there who would like to acquire class number 15 can then go to the website and pick it up yourselves and watch it whenever you want. If you're in the class and you can only stick around for an hour or so, uh, you got, you know, you're going to be called away or you're, you, you figure oh, I can be here for a while, but boy, I'm going to have to do this or do that. Not to worry, you've made a payment towards the class itself. You're getting your own edited copy of the edited class as an added bonus so that you'll be able to watch the class over and over again, all you want, whenever you want, uh, down the road uh, with the same acquisition cost of coming into the class. And there you go. Thank you, all of you who have already made your reservation. If you want to join us for the class, one last time, it's a $150 donation, U.S. funds to the PayPal account, which is down below, down here. And um, send me a private email at uh, brucefarmert at hotmail.com uh, and tell me that, uh, uh, Bruce, I have sent you $150 for this Saturday's class, April the 8th at 2 o'clock Eastern. Um, this is the email address that you can send the link to so that I can watch. Uh, I have to send individual links to each of you who have made payment for the class. That's why I ask you to send me a private email just to confirm it. Okay. And so thank you all of you who have been, uh, who signed up instantaneously and who've been bugging me for months. When's your next class? Well, the next class is this on Saturday. So we're off Friday. We're on Saturday for the class. And then of course we're back at it Monday next week. So thank you all. Don't forget tonight, seven o'clock Eastern. Primetime Live instead of 8 o'clock for this week only. Thank you all so much for your loyal support and encouragement. I appreciate that you're all here. Thank you. Uh, fun, fun times. Uh, Robert Benson, uh, Bruce, I am thumbs up 92 for you. Uh, you're, all, you're almost at a halfway point already for the thumbs ups today. Uh, thank you all for those. Uh, Zed Estate 83, uh, Home Skillet 67. Lorraine was here nice and early today. Thank you so, so much for that. Um, uh, thank you. Whiteboard, but no lamp. There you go. That's right, says my dude. No, no lamp this week. There you go. Thank you all for, for popping through. I hope you're doing okay in your options. If you have any questions on how your option trading is doing, 
by all means, fire away. If you are a member of this channel, of course, you can ask me these questions anytime you like. If you're a non-member of this channel and you're lurking about, just kind of hanging out, you're always welcome to hang out and lurk here. Uh, love having you. Thank you uh, if you've uh, subscribed to this channel. Those of you who are subscribers, uh, uh, please make sure your subscription is up and running. Appreciate those very much. Um, and if you become a, a member of the channel, fabulous. We love having you. Those of you who are uh, renewing your memberships, you're getting these alerts from YouTube that'll say something like, uh, I'm assuming you get alerts that say something like your membership uh, uh, needs to be renewed if you want to stay a member of Bruce's channel or something like that. I have no idea. I've never, I've never had that message come to me because I'm not a member of my own channel. I'm the guy on the channel itself, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but uh, uh, Jeffrey Hooks, you're in. You're in for the class, Jeffrey. I just got the alert. Boom. You're in. Um, anyway, I don't get alerts from the YouTube telling me to join my own channel. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a channel. Uh, so I have no idea what those look like. But uh, those of you who automatically uh, have the automatic renewal button set, oh, thank you so much makes one less thing to worry about it's just automatically taken care of those of you who are doing it manually thank you every month for manually renewing your membership of this channel fabulous uh you gold bagel members um thank you uh you're the heart and soul of the channel uh because you're paying 25 dollars a month to be here uh, uh that is appreciated to say the least the uh, chill with uncle bruce members at 10 bucks a month thank you all of you who are constantly uh, renewing your memberships love you guys too of course and that, of course, means that uh, members get to comment during market hours uh, and throw me questions about the markets and what's going on. Will Yoko be attending the class? David, you never know with Yoko. Uh, she's, uh, you know, moody. Uh, we are headed back to Calgary at the end of this month, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but, you know, winter's almost over, uh, more or less. Uh, and we will then be back in town in Calgary where the Yoko album is... Uh, waiting in storage um we're gonna find out just how blackened the box is that contains that album uh just like the uh the uh, uh you know the search for the holy whatever uh <laughs> too much fun uh thank you everybody for for uh, being here with us today it's uh, much appreciated Great to have you. We now have on the thumbs up meter 99. We're holding a Wayne Gretzky right now on the thumbs up meter. Thank you for 99 thumbs ups and counting at the moment. Uh, going for 200 today. If you're able to hit that thumbs up button, please nail it. And uh, thank you all so very much to for doing so. It is much, much, much appreciated. All right. So. We're watching, as usual, a lot of activity uh, in the marketplace, the pre-market uh, concern all over the place about uh, bank issues. Are they still going to be uh, a problem? Uh, if so, which banks and, and, and is, this, is there contagion? What about uh, lending from banks? Are they going to be uh, uh, pulling back on this? How is this all going to go? Uh, we have a lot to wonder about. In the meantime, in the pre-market, I am showing, uh, for example, uh, Rocket Lab up a couple of pennies today. Uh, SoFi's up two pennies, uh, but they were down last yesterday. 17 cents drop for Rocket Lab yesterday. 15 drop a penny drop for SoFi yesterday. We only have two penny gains this morning. App, uh, GameStop lost 82 yesterday. We're down six more on GameStop at 22.30. The AMC shares, uh, the common shares, lost a buck 20, and the prefs, the preferreds, went up 20 yesterday. Uh, this morning, the commons are up 19 cents, but the, uh, the preferreds are only up a penny, so not much of a recovery there. Uh, Matterport down three cents, lost a penny yesterday. 23Me lost three cents yesterday. It's up two now. Spire looks like it lost 3.7 cents yesterday. It's up two cents now. ATIP was off uh, one-fifth of a penny, and it's up eight-tenths of a penny now. Smart rent down four yesterday, up seven this morning. Sixtera was up 1.3 cents yesterday. It's up another 1.6 cents this morning at 34.64. Apple was down 54 yesterday. It's down 63 cents this morning. Goldman was down 387. It's down 236. Cisco was down a dime. It's up 11. Uh, Tesla was down 219. It's down 153 this morning to 191.05. 
Arc Innovations lost 21 cents yesterday. It's down 24 cents now. Uh, Microsoft was down a nickel yesterday. It's down uh, 84 cents, 74, 84 cents, something like that. Uh, Bed Bath Beyond, 35.39 cents last night. Uh, last trade yesterday, down three cents. Today, up 1.6 to 36.9. Uh, Pfizer lost 45 cents yesterday. It's up 21 this morning. HPQ was down 34 cents yesterday. It's up six cents today. Alphabet, Google was up 21 cents um, uh, yesterday. It's uh, up 111 now to 106.23. Amazon gained 154 yesterday. I don't so I don't show any changes this morning. Nvidia was down 512 yesterday. It's down another 580 this morning at 268. Uh, Unity Software uh, was up a quarter yesterday, and it's now down 26 cents. 32.16 on unity software at the moment that's where we're uh, we're getting it and uh, that is the latest uh, uh pre-market activity on a bunch of these different stocks that we follow and we'll just see how uh, how uh, it goes from there um thank you all for for being here this western alliance bank corp uh we were watching here wal is a symbol 29.92 a share down 373 down 11 percent. So Western Alliance Bank down 11% at uh, kind of the lows of the year here, very close to it. Not looking great. Um, in the past, past five days, the shares were in this 34.35 neighborhood. Uh, last week, they reached uh, 37.20 uh, as the bank stocks seemed to stabilize that was the 30th of march that's last week and we've gone from 3720 now to 2990 um and uh, this morning we are getting hit here at the, or this bank's getting hit at 360 loss a share almost 11 percent off in the pre-market um, concerns about withdrawals uh and other issues and this is the story of the markets right now uh, more and more regional banks are being really scrutinized uh, for their strength and their deposit strengths. And they're also being scrutinized with regards to their lending practices. And we are finding that 43 to 47% of all U.S. banks have tightened lending requirements lately. This is, uh, this is not good. Uh, th this is not good in a way because it shows the um, the banks are concerned about ability to pay back uh, they're concerned about liquidity on hand and um, this is a job killer this this uh, this is an economy killer and it's quick and it's vicious it's violent it is not a, a six month slow turn it is an instantaneous turning off the taps and so we're watching this very very close you can be uh, rest assured that the federal reserve and the treasury are on it uh, they are really watching this activity and their people are in touch with all of these bankers to make sure that they are liquid that they have the liquidity they need or they'll assist them in getting liquidity so that they don't have to cut back the borrowing uh, requirements have to increase lending restrictions but at the moment it's happening it's already underway and maybe a healthy amount of that is reasonable but after a certain point it's not and so perception is reality and so i'm watching this uh, whole thing um play out and let's see what's going on robert benson i bought 600 six stare at 29 yesterday feels like scooping up is being done on the stock uh yeah I I'm uh I, I, the company is worth two something a share I mean the, the, the breakup value of this company is four times what it's trading at uh, no, no 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 eight times what it's trading for two something I bet you it's 250 a share is what it's worth trading at 30 something cents a share I mean that's a joke uh, but it is what it is um there's nothing uh there's nothing to 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 defend the price. Uh, the price is the price. Uh, six Terra is trading at uh, a low low value of thirty four point six cents a share, and that's that's it. There's no defending that number. It is what it is. Now the question is, 
are people taking advantage of this opportunity to average down on it and uh, perhaps write it back into the one, two, three dollar neighborhood as a minimum? Um, what is the company doing? I, I had heard that they were trying to turn themselves into a REIT and then have dividends be paid out on a monthly basis uh, from cash flows. I have no idea where that is. I don't know how down far the road they are on that. And I don't know who leads the charge and how it's being led. And all. I don't know. I just can't say. It's 34.6 cents a share. To me, uh, if they are going to go that direction, it's because the number one shareholder wants it that way. Um, and if the number one shareholder wants it that way, and it happens to be the same entity that lends this company money for cash flow needs, it's going to happen. It's just going to be done because the number one shareholder can vote it in. The question is when, how, what logistics? I have no idea. And so we wait. Uh, in the meantime, the stock, I think, is dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. And uh, it, it's possible that the company, the number one shareholder of the company, would love to buy up all the stock. But if they did that, they'd have to tender a takeover offer. And if they did a takeover offer, that defeats the whole purpose of taking it public in the first place. And so maybe the number one shareholder is restricted in that they can't buy up all the stock. They have to keep a float out there. And that leaves the stock open to attacks from short sellers who are taking advantage of a stock that can't be defended by the number one shareholder. This is me guessing what's going on. I can't tell you that's exactly it, but... From this observation, uh, that is my hunch, and maybe the same thing is happening over at um, at ATIP. Um, I don't know. It's my, it might be the exact same thing, that the number one shareholder can't buy up more stock without going through all kinds of hoops with the SEC and perhaps being forced by the SEC to launch a tender offer to take over the company. I don't know. I just don't know. If I knew, uh, you'd know. Uh, and so there's the reason, the reason in that. Uh, what's the reason for uh, why uh, prime time is early tonight? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the reason is that uh, Jennifer and I have an obligation. Uh, we're going out um, and we uh, need to leave the house uh, at a certain time. And I need a little extra time to do it. And so uh, um, uh, I go live at... Um, Usually I go live at five o'clock local time, eight o'clock Eastern. Um, but uh, tonight uh, we need to be uh, somewhere uh, a few, quite a few miles from here. And so uh, I need extra time. So this week we are on one hour earlier at seven o'clock Eastern, which is four o'clock Pacific time uh, to buy me that uh, extra little, extra little time to uh, take care of this uh, of this event and that's all i'll tell you uh drew thoughts on buying gamestop january 25 10s versus uh, 13s what are your thoughts um love the idea of tens um a lot i i love the idea of you buying tens more than 13s i'm even even more interested uh, i'd be just as interested if you bought eights but uh tens are definitely a, a very safe place to go if you get them in the 90-10 rule, uh, for sure. Uh, this tightening of lending is hitting REITs, especially good chance for to scoop some CYXT. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Cash App uh, founder Bob Lee stabbed to death in San Francisco yesterday. Cash App. Yikes. Uh, good morning uh, from Aurora, number 115. Uh, Zach, I'm number 115. Um, Splitter, we're about to rock on. That's right. We're open. Uh, we're up and running. Did we get the bells rung by our friend? Haven't seen the bells uh, from Larry. Here they are. Larry has rung them. Thank you, my friend. Welcome, sir, to the show. And uh, here we go. Uh, Robert, this is an opportunity to buy some cheap CYXD. Thank you, Larry. Mr. Premium number 122. Um, and uh, thank you all for popping in here. We're open for trading. We're up and running. Let's see how these markets uh, react this morning and see what kind of profits are coming your way as option writers. Uh, we thank the option gamblers out there taking all the risks, and uh, we love passing them on to those guys. It's fantastic. We got the Dow at the moment uh, holding a 25-point gain to kind of start things off, and uh, we'll see how all these shares uh, uh, settle in as we get things started. Thank you all for 
your support of this channel, including the thumbs ups. Uh, Arturo, number 120, not your sofa. I'm number 121, Mr. Premium. We are number 122 on that thumbs up. You're only 78 away, bro. <coughs> 78 away, man. You're going to hit 200. No question about it. Thank you so much for the thumbs ups. We're up 49 on the Dow. Uh, we've got uh, GameStop, I think, down 12 cents at 2220 or so, down 15. Uh, we're showing uh, a SoFi at 585 off four. Tesla, 189.58. 189.58 on Tesla, down $3. Um, those options you guys have are looking better all the time. Apple down 105 at 164 now. Unity down 77 right now. It's 31.65. That's an interesting move down, over 2%. HPQ, 29.43, down 12 cents. First Republic Bank is down 42 cents to 13.37. The uh, Western Alliance Bank stock is open or trading at $31, even down $252 to start the session at the moment. The low of the day, $3021, the high of $3130. So Western Alliance Bank Corp is being watched very closely by Wall Street. We're off 9% now to $3042, uh, $3020 now, the new low of the day right now on Western Alliance Bank Corp, 3005, and the selling is coming in to start the day over there. So we'll keep an eye on that one uh, out of the corner of our eye. Um, let's see uh, what else is going on. Thank you all for being here. We've got uh, Google up 74 cents, Moderna down 94, Cisco up 20, Pfizer up 40, IBM up 47, Microsoft down 28 cents. 23andMe is down a penny. Matterport is down nine cents. Uh, Rocket Lab is down eight. Smart Rent off a nickel. Spire down three cents. So all the SPACs, former SPACs, are red today at the moment. Amazon is down 86 cents. Home Depot just up 56. Netflix down three and a quarter to 343 a share. Um, Van Vanic uh, Semiconductors, SMH, down uh, 272. Adobe down a dollar. Goldman Sachs down 270. Boeing is off. 64 cents uh facebook meta down 19 cents uh, the amc shares uh the commons are up a dime and the eight preferreds are up three cents they took a hit yesterday combined uh royal caribbean down 58 today at 63 dollars 22 cents we've got target uh, up 42 jp morgan down 43 costco up 460 walmart up 120 disney down 31 cents under 100 a share nvidia down 525 and american airlines is off six cents to 14 dollars and 10 cents <clears throat> and that's where we're at right here uh let's see i'm adding more sofi under six dollars and ghost of bernie madoff stink buys on smart rent at 180 there you go don't know if you'll get it but uh, trying to get it. all right folks thank you all for uh, for being here with us today um uh, as I said, please become a member of the channel uh, if you uh, would. Uh, that would be beautiful. We're going to say goodbye to our lurkers and say thank you to our members only. We're going member only on the chat right now. And please become a member today. Let me know how long you've been a member if you can. Uh, thank you all for that. And uh, welcome to the party, everybody. We're up and running and uh, we're in business and we'll see how this market wants to take care of business today. 132 thumbs ups have come in, 68 left to go. Uh, Nick DuMaurier, thank you, my friend, for uh, your 131st thumbs up. Appreciate that. We're under 70 to go to hit 200 uh, thumbs ups for the session. Welcome one and all to the, to the party. We're up uh, 22 on the Dow, it looks like maybe 50 even, um, trying to establish some kind of a pattern here. Um, got uh, Sextera at 33 and a half cents, up a half a penny, I think. Um, yeah, we're up 61 on the Dow. We're up, we're down six on S&P, we're down 60 on NASDAQ. So it's a mixed bag at the moment. Oil down a dime, it's $80.61. 2170 is where a GameStop is trading at now. 2170, we're down 60 cents on the session. The low of the day, 2164 on GameStop. That is where we're at there. We're now down three tenths of a penny on Sixtera. ATIP is down seven tenths of a penny. SoFi is off 13. Tesla down 370. Apple down 77. 
Unity now down a dollar twelve, over three percent drop on Unity software today. Thirty-one thirty. You option writers out there, I know you are keenly interested in Unity's stock in this thirty to thirty-three neighborhood. Uh, having a bunch of have been writing thirties and um, thirty-dollar calls now. They're only one thirty in the money. They've given up one twelve today, and so they're headed your direction. So interesting stuff. Uh, HPQ down two cents. Um, uh, Google down uh, is up a quarter. Moderna down 82 right now. All right. Uh, the Dow off 79 points. Not uh, Sorry, the Dow is up 79 points. Not a serious uptick. And we're down 65 on NASDAQ. Not a serious downtick. Slight percentage moves at this moment as the market is kind of mixed here, getting into the opening trades. All right, folks. Thank you all uh, for being through here. 140 thumbs ups now are in the house. Thank you all. Uh, we appreciate these thumbs ups. Fantastic stuff. All righty. Uh, headline 38 minutes ago that meta layoffs, the Facebook layoffs, have gutted customer service, leaving influencers and businesses in the dark. Interesting, uh, interesting stuff there. Um, and uh, what else is happening here? Um, Headline seven minutes ago that the the uh, the Ram electric pickup truck is going to outdo the Ford F one hundred and fifty and the GMC Hummer in range in EV range. Interesting. Um, and the FedEx is going to fold operating divisions into one organization to cut costs. Uh, this is even more reorganization going on over there. They've already gone through the layoffs, and now they're going to do uh, mergers. That means more layoffs will continue to come out here uh, for uh, FedEx. That's my hunch on this. Uh, We'll watch for that. Okay, uh, WAL, taking a look at this Western Alliance Bank Corp stock. It's trading now at 3004, down 348, 10.3%. Another one of these small regional banks. The low of the day, 3001. We're at 3004 right now. Uh, now I'm seeing it at 2991. New lows right now, 2991. Um, and uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, JL Mark is saying, the last two mornings, comments turned off for my early trading show. Anyone else having this problem? Uh, not uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, all is well, uh, as far as I know. Um, and again, thank you to, um, thank you to, uh, to uh, um, uh, there we go. We've got, oh, we, okay, we got this coming. All right, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm just. Catching up here, we're getting uh, class donations coming in. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, you're in for the class, and now we have another one joining. Uh, Bobby, welcome, Bobby, to the class. Rock and roll, pal. I look forward to having you here on, on, on Saturday morning. Uh, those of you who are interested in this class of ours, class number 15, uh, making a donation of 150 U.S. to the PayPal link, uh, thank you. Uh, we look forward to uh, a robust group of students uh be speed on your best behavior uh don't be dipping the uh, girls long hair into the ink wells please uh be on your best behavior uh thank you all um <laughs> looking forward to the session it's gonna be great 2950 on western alliance bank corp down 12 percent now uh going lower western alliance backing off um even further on the stock and this is concerning um there's concerns out there about banks getting hit with depositor withdrawals and other assets leaving banks like uh <clears throat> teams of uh, wealth advisors um over at uh, over at uh, <clears throat> uh first republic uh they lost a team of wealth advisors that were managing 10.4 billion dollars they walked with their clients um, over to Morgan Stanley to a much larger bank. And uh, this doesn't help because that bank acquired $30 billion in deposits uh, just a week and a half ago to stay alive. And here's 10 billion of assets walking out the door in one shot uh, across the street to another firm. The, the First Republic Bank stock is down just 41 cents. I'm surprised it's only off 41. 
this morning uh, as we speak. Uh, this is a most interesting uh, uh, thing here. Uh, short sellers made a profit of $848 million shorting First Republic Bank stock in March. Uh, those are reports that are coming out this morning. So not good. I'm sure uh, at Western at Western Alliance over here, the Western Alliance Bank Corp, there have been short sellers making a killing on this one. It's back to 30 a share, um, 1.5 million traded. Um, watching that closely. Um, and uh, Nick is saying to JL Mark, uh, you have to refresh when that happens. JL Mark, uh, thanks for the tip, Nick. Rock and roll. I hopefully hopefully it's that simple. Um, I can't provide these uh, these advisories because I don't know what I'm doing uh, when it comes to that stuff. We're down 58 cents on GameStop, 21.77. Those of you who've been able to roll up your contracts that uh, rolled into 22s, 23s, 24s, 25s, 26s, and 27s. I congratulate all of you. Uh, you're all out of the money now, and you're watching the stock continue to depreciate. Those of you who are sitting on 17s, 18s, 19s, and 20s, the stock is coming to you. That is for sure. Um, but the thing here is, if you wrote calls on GameStop or Tesla or whatever you wrote calls on, and the shares have gone up on you, that means your contracts are likely pretty well trading at book value depending on how high stocks have gone i have had people reach out to me to say bruce i wrote calls for four dollars on this stock the stock went up and my calls are now nine dollars and the book value is 875 there's like 25 cents premium what should i be doing the answer is you should be rolling up your contract to a higher strike price going further out in time that is the ideal scenario you should be looking at. And you should be trying to write another call worth nine if you can. But if you can't write a call for nine dollars, you can write a call for eight dollars or seven dollars or six dollars. However, by doing that, you can move your strike price up three, four, five, six dollars a contract. You will do that. You will pay a dollar to get three dollars of increase in strike price you will pay two to get six dollars of increase why because it's 600 a contract more to you if you get exercise that's the number one thing you're getting paid way more money than it's costing you number two and more importantly by moving your strike price upward to where the stock is now if the shares falter from here in any way shape or form they just give up a couple of bucks you are sitting on out of the money contracts here's the good news if you cough up two dollars to do a roll-up into a higher strike price call and the next two weeks the shares back off a little bit and your calls drop to two and a half three dollars you got your two dollars back already you're already ahead of what you've invested to move up in strike this is a, an instant payoff. You are locking in gains on the underlying security that you're writing against. You can't keep forgetting. Don't forget. You might be long deep in the money calls and you wrote against those. Or you're long stock and you wrote against the stock. Forget what you pay for this stuff. That's not part of the story here. You wrote the first batch of calls, these calls we're talking about that have gone in the money on you. You wrote those when the stock was down here. The shares aren't down here anymore. They're up here now. Your calls have gone up. It's time to roll forward and raise your strike price. Go with the stock. Keep going with it. You've got to cough up a few bucks. You cough up a few bucks. And there you go. That's the name of the game. Manage your portfolio at all times. And be short calls that have premium. Don't be sitting on call options that are trading at book value because now you are gambling. You have turned yourself into a casino floor gambler because you're looking for a dip. 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 For a dip. You can't be doing that. You have to be in a position where you have shorted calls. You've written calls that are premium, all premium to you. And the gamble is on the owner of the calls, not the writer. You're back upstairs where you belong in the casino's admin office. Get off the casino floor and get back up there and watch your money grow.
All right, everybody, welcome to the party. We're down 61 cents on the GameStop shares, 21.74 right now. The Dow is up 69.70 points. Uh, S&P is down 7, NASDAQ down 76. NASDAQ is not playing uh, playing along with the Dow, just not playing along with it at all. The oil market is down 19 cents a barrel to 80.52, going lower on oil now. All right. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Mirko, number 144, thumbs ups. Thank you for the thumbs up, number 144. Absolutely great. They keep coming. We're going for 200. Um, WAL, Western Alliance Corp, bank stock, $30, down 350, 10.5% lower this morning is what we see on this marketplace. Uh, Sixtera is trading at 31 cents. We're off two cents a share at the moment, and Sixtera. The high of 33.6, the low of 31 right now, 145,000 traded. Not a lot of volume there. GameStop down 61 cents at 21.74. The volume, 598,000. Very quiet there. ATIP, 25.4 cents a share down 1.2 on 10,700 shares. Dead quiet there. SoFi, 578 down 11 cents. 3.7 million traded on SoFi today. Uh, Tesla down 396 to 188.62. Apple is down 122 to 164.41. Unity Software now off 4% on the session, 125 a share to 31.17. It's backing off to 31.17 now. HPQ down a nickel. Uh, First Republic Bank down 17 cents. Google down 18 cents. Moderna down 77. Cisco up 28. Pfizer up 72, uh, having a good day there. IBM up 71. Microsoft down 222 to 285 a share. Congratulations to all of you being able to rolling your options forward on Microsoft. You're being rewarded out there for your Microsoft rollovers. Down goes the stock at this point. The ME shares, 23andMe, are down two pennies. Matterport down nine. Rocket Lab down eight, Smart Rent down two, Spire uh, is up six tenths of a penny at the moment, sixty point nine cents a share. Bed Bath Beyond down a penny, Amazon down one forty nine, Home Depot down one eighty seven, Netflix down five thirty five, Vanek down four thirty three, Adobe down one forty nine, Goldman down one eighty two, Boeing down thirty two, and Facebook down a pen, a dollar. With a story coming out that with layoffs being done, they have gutted their customer service division. And now they have pissed off customers. Not a good move, people. You do not get bigger by getting smaller. You get smaller faster and you lose more money when you get rid of quality people that help you make your money. It's not good. When an organization decides that you are expendable, they are saying to you in no uncertain terms, you are not an asset to our corporation. You're a liability. And when you are deemed to be a liability, people around you are being laid off. You're in a department that's a liability. It's time for you to walk. It's time for you to shop for a better gig. You may be shocked at how much more money you can get elsewhere from where you are now because you are with a failing organization. The organization is failing. They are letting people go. It's time to get ahead of the curve and find a gig elsewhere rather than wait to be laid off and then find a job. Uh, you've got to be a proactive on this. Um, absolutely proactive. All right, everybody, we're, we're up 100 on the Dow. That's the only good news I got. We're down four and a half on S&P. We're down 74 on NASDAQ. That's it. The Dow is up 0.3 of a percentage point, not even a third of a percent. The Nasdaq's down 0.63, two-thirds of a point, negative. So the difference is a full percentage point between one and the other. One of these two is right. One of these two guys is wrong. I, I have a suspicion Nasdaq has got it right. But that's just me and my old ways. What can I say? 21.73 on GameStop, down 62 cents here. Um, not getting any help um, with this marketplace. That is the story uh, as I see it. Mm, 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 mm. The S and P Global Final U.S. Services PMI is fifty-two point six versus fifty-three point eight. That sounds like another slowdown indicator. 
in the U.S. economy. Over at uh, Western Alliance Bancorp, we're down three twelve to thirty dollars and forty cents. Uh, the low of the day has been twenty nine fifty so far. Watching that one out of the corner of our eye to see how those bank stocks are doing. At least this particular bank stock to see how it is doing overall. Welcome to the party, pals. Great to have you here. Um, I hope you're having a good morning this morning. We've got 148 thumbs ups that have come through today. Uh, Mirko is saying, hey, Uncle Bruce, I bought 200 AI yesterday at 2421. And I sold two 2550 calls for this Friday against her for a buck two. The stink bid is set. And the next time I write um, uh, is May 19th, um, 25s at around three bucks. Premiums at AI are very nice. And AI is, is in a battle right now with some short sellers that are contending that the books are suspect and they're complaining to whoever wants to listen that they think the way that AI does their reporting is, is wrong and the stock is very volatile. You, are, you have to be careful with AI, no question about it. Uh, I doubt that you can buy the stocks deep in the money calls. I doubt you can get them in any way to be near the 90-10 rule. So if you want to write options, you got to take a chance and buy up the stock. It is definitely a volatile issue uh, without any doubt whatsoever. Um, it's just all over the map. So you got to watch uh, for that. Um, AI is now 2336 down 160 this morning. Uh, the last uh, five days of AI, they topped out at 3440 on the uh, uh, two days ago. Uh, that would be Monday. Um, and um, um, uh, going back to Friday last week, uh, they were 29, uh, as low as 29 and as high as 33 in one session. Uh, last Thursday, they were 2738. So 2322 right now, they have come down a long way. And uh, the high and low for the shares for the year, $10 to $34 has been the high and the low. I believe that um, not too long ago, yeah, in the last month, they were at 34 for the high, but they only hung around that 30 level for about uh, three or four days and gave it up. Uh, back on the 30th of March, they were 27.60. By the 4th, 3rd of, of April, they were 33, $34. And now here we are back to 23.16. So it's been a real roller coaster ride on this thing. And uh, writing options on this is a uh, uh, an interesting endeavor. Um, again, I, I, I cannot recommend highly enough to take as big a premium as you can humanly get on this stuff uh, out of the money calls. Uh, you cannot write near the money calls. You've got to be out of the money and you want to write for a fat premium. The 25s uh, for um, May the 5th are showing 350. For May the 19th, the 25s are showing offered at 350. Uh, July calls that are available to write uh, look like they're 490 for the 25s. I love those. Um, going to October 23, uh, writing 25s will get you six bucks. Maybe not as good as the uh, the Julys, but boy, uh, bringing in a six dollar premium that is pretty cool stuff. Uh, interesting, interesting developments there. All right, uh, never a dull moment on these stocks. I'll tell you, this is. Uh, this is going to keep you awake, I'll tell you that. You're not going to fall asleep owning this stuff. You will be right on it, and uh, it'll keep you entertained. 2304 down 190 on AI today, which is known as C3.AI Inc. is the name of the company. Yo, uh, uh, short sellers' accounting allegations are out there, and that is what um, dropped the stock a little bit here. Now the question, of course, is are the short sellers right? Uh, or not, 28.7% of the shares apparently, apparently, pardon me, 28% uh, of the float is short. 24 million shares apparently are shorted. 86 million are the float. And uh, volume today, 6.2 million. Average daily volume, 21 million shares with a free float of 86 million. So this is volatile for sure. Down a buck 90 right now at 2305 so 
stuff to watch kids uh, definitely um Mirka, read the, that article too that's why i bought 200 i read this article tiff i did get ai jan 17 2025 10 dollars strike well within the 90 10 rule last month well done tiff Mirko, and if they come back to the 10 range i'll buy 500 more right on zeta state tesla is down yes uh, 447 to 188 11 uh, Tesla is backing off. Congratulations to those of you who have written nice, juicy calls on Tesla. Well-deserved returns starting to come your way. I know that some of you out there are sitting on 160s, 165s, 170s, all the way up to 210, 220. All of you have watched your calls on Tesla back off. And uh, this will con- this could continue yet. Yeah. And uh, enjoy the ride lower. And for some of you, you may get to the point where you will do a rollback where you will buy back 210s, 220s, and you will now write 200s for a few months further out for more money. That is a reward for a decline from a declining stock as well. Those of you who've written Teslas further out in time, of course, what are you looking for? You're looking for your calls to drop off so that you can buy those back and write closer in in time calls that might be written at a lower premium. So if you've written $225 January 24 or January 25 calls and you can now come in a year or six months or so in time at a lower strike price where you are in effect buying back at this price and selling new calls at that price, taking some extra cash and gaining time. Well done. Keep an eye on that. Tesla, 187.99, down 459. Okay. We're up 129 on the Dow, but we're down 67 on NASDAQ. It is a, a, a very mixed bag market between growth stocks and value. So we'll watch this closely. Um, SoFi is at uh, 578 down 11 cents and uh and Tesla now 187.96 Apple down 112 15450 on Apple backing off there too we're down 130 on Unity software again Unity offering opportunities to write 30s 32s 33s 35s some really nice premiums have been had on Unity uh, stock options uh, there's volatility here. There's money to be made on Unity if you want to play it. Uh, it's all, all up to you how you want to uh, work on this. Uh, I'm just going to punch in the old AI here. We're down two bucks now on AI at 22.77 last trade. That's where we're at right now. Um, okay, there we go. Let's go all the way down here. That's not. Let's go there, and let's go all the way down here. There it is. I've got it there. Let me uh, pop it into a little higher position here so I can keep an eye on AI with you. There we go. There we are, kids. AI and Unity. Watching Unity today with its fun activities going on. Mm, mm, mm. There we have it. Okay, lots to watch, folks. Tons going on. 121 gain on the Dow. Down 235 on AI at 2260. Unity 3112 down 130 today as we see some uh, backing off of contracts and stock prices today. No question about it. 188.40 on Tesla. Wing Commander, I'm done lurking. I'm here. Uh, Garf, I've watched lessons one through eight. How did I miss what the 90-10 rule is all about? Huh? How did I miss this? Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. You've got catching up to do, my friend. Uh, those of you who have not watched any of my lessons and you've always thought, you know, one of these days I'm going to do this. Um, the deal, there is a deal available. If you do want to get all 14 lessons, you can get them for the price of 12. Um, so instead of coughing up $2,100 uh, to get all 14, you can get all 14 for 1800 bucks. Um, you make a donation to my PayPal link, which is down below, um, and send me a private email. Say, Bruce, uh, it might sound crazy, but I've just sent you um, uh, $1,800. And um, uh, 
I would like you to send me all 14 classes. Here's my email right there. Um, let me know. Um, and we'll uh, take care of 1800 US dollars gets you all 14 classes in one shot in one email. You can watch them at your pleasure anytime you want. If you want in on this Saturday's class, class number 15, uh, make a donation of $150 to my PayPal link um, uh, today. Quick, hurry, uh, and I will add you into the class, and uh, we'll uh, we'll have you there. 150 US gets you interest. It gets you entry to the class, and we'll get you the edited version of class 15 later next week. All right, folks. Thank you all for being here so far. We have now got 152 thumbs ups for the show. Thank you. We're at 29.89 again on this Western Alliance stock dropping under 30 yet again, down 10.8%. So there's more weakness showing up over there. Wing Commander, I got out of my AI uh, with a $20 loss just in time before it cratered. Uh, God bless technical analysis on a higher time frame. Phew, there you go. Uh, this is one of those stocks you got to be, you know, you got to be careful with. Uh, these, uh, these guys fluctuate. If it backs off a lot, you buy back in and then write out of the money calls and take the cash and put the gamble on the gamblers. I mean, if you can write 24s and 25s and get six bucks premium on a $22 stock, hey, <laughs> hey, that's, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And there's a big short squeeze going on. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So uh, scoring it cheap and then writing uh, premium calls, premium calls. Yeah, uh, that's the name of the game. If you are made of that kind of um, ilk, if it's too risky, then play the uh, the conservative game and write on Apple if you like, uh, write on Microsoft, write on uh, Cisco, write on Pfizer, write on HPQ. A lot of stocks you can write options on for some nice income. And say goodbye to your boss at the office slowly but surely say goodbye to your boss at the office because you are leaving the firm uh, no doubt about it you will be leaving the company uh, because you're going to be making the kind of money that will allow you to say you know what i can't afford to work for you guys anymore i just can't you don't pay me enough to come in here uh and not watch my stock option chain and and my uh, my account um i can make more money in in a week um writing calls for five bucks and buying them back for three uh than i can working for you guys because i can write 50 calls at a time and at two bucks a call i make 10 g's you guys don't pay me 10 g's a week and you never will um i'm worth 10 g's a week uh but you won't pay it to me so maybe it's time for me to move on uh congratulations to those of you who have managed to do that uh gamestop is down 90 cents a share we're down to 21.44 here uh further depreciation on GameStop, SoFi down 15 cents, Rocket Lab down 12. We've got uh, Matterport down 11 cents. We've got 23andMe down three and a half pennies. Spire's up uh, a half a penny, it looks like. Almost ATIP is down 0.8 of a penny. A smart rent down three cents. Sixtera down 1.3 cents a share. The Apple shares 123 lower. Goldman down by 270. Cisco holding a 33 cent gain. Tesla is down 490 to 187.69. Uh, Arc Innovations is off 80 cents. Uh, Microsoft down 162. Uh, we've got uh, Pfizer up 92, having a very good day today at 41.83. HPQ up nine cents. Uh, Carvana down 67. Al uh, Google is down just two pennies. Uh, Amazon up 150, uh, down 155. Nvidia down 760 now. Unity down 159. That is a 5% drop today, folks, on Unity. This continues to fall off. 3077 now. These contracts that you wrote uh, for 30 bucks, 31, 32, 33, 34, they are backing off very nicely. A financial mischief. I just sold an AI December 20 call for seven bucks on uh, ai december 20. well it is in the money 250 so you're getting a 450 premium but still uh good uh, good on you uh hector wing commander a uh, sega spread the good technical world there we're to set send it out we're down 240 on ai 174 on unity as it is plummeting here this morning jen how are you today good good 
What is happening in your world uh, this morning? Watching Canada play uh, South Korea. Uh huh. Curling. Good game. Very exciting game so far. Curling. Team Canada men's playing curling world championships, folks. That's right. The worlds. Come to Canada. The boils. Watch the world. Did you know that uh, in the men's and the women's curling, and in the uh, the junior world hockey championships. These world tournaments, uh, every second year, they're held in Canada. You've told them this already. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it unbelievable? Every second year, these are held in, in Canada because of the popularity of the sport in Canada and the television revenue and the advertising revenue. And, and it's worth it. They it's unbelievable. They kicked the Ottawa Senators out of their building. Yeah. They're playing. On the road. Somewhere. Uh, probably just on the road for they're this week. They're on the road. So that the world can be held in their arena. Yeah, during the playoff push, the very last week of the NHL season, when the Ottawa Senators <laughs> really need to be at home to clinch a playoff spot, get out of here. Curling is coming in. Okay. You're out. NHL hockey out. Curling in. You're very, you're very sinus. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Flemmy sinus. Are you oh. Flemmy? And I, I, I'm in a what? mood. I'm in a mood. Uh oh. oh. You guys been poking him? You know, what I, you know what I figured out this morning? What? It took until today. Uh -oh. We're closed on Friday. It's Easter. Hello. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, I'm you're not closed. on the air. You're closed. You're not closed Monday, though. No, we're open Monday, but uh, we're closed Friday. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then I announced today I got a banner going across the bottom of the oh, screen. Oh, look at you. The primetime show is. A banner. Yeah, the primetime show is Ooh. 7 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock. Tonight. Ah. Yeah, because I'm not telling you what we're doing tonight. They didn't say what we're doing. We have, oh, an okay. we have an obligation, but that's all I said. We have an obligation. We have an we obligation. Do. That's all we can say. And we'll tell you tomorrow. We'll tell you tomorrow what it was. We'll tell you tomorrow. Yeah, it's confidential. Does it involve what a private jet? No, doesn't no. involve a private no, jet. No, it doesn't. You know what hasn't happened yet? I haven't had a single viewer <laughs> contact me to say, hey, Bruce, I really Not appreciate one single all viewer. the money you've made me and all my friends. We've really done well with you. You're just the best ever. Come on our yacht for a week. We're, 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 we're going to send our private jet over to Palm Springs and pick you up with your with your lovely yeah. Jennifer Hanson lookalike wife. And we're going to fly you to wherever and why don't you hang out with us for the weekend i, I, I can't believe that hasn't happened yeah, none of you none of you guys with you your all of you rich people all of you rich viewers that are watching me who are writing options like crazy are not sending a private jet to us the I other can't. thing i can't believe what all those lottery tickets that we've purchased over the years we never won they never won we never won we never won. all those never lottery won. tickets we bought they, never came in yeah. unbelievable i mean What's a guy to do? What uh, is a guy? What is a guy to do? I tell yeah. you, I tell you, we're making we're making our viewers millions of dollars in option premiums as they write thousands of contracts, oh, buy we, them back for pennies. And we play the American team tonight. Ooh, curling Americans! Ooh, look up. Schuster against Gushu. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Schuster against Gushu headline. <laughs> Don't we have great names? Wow, Gushu, uh, Gushu, that's our guy, Gushu. And, and Kui, that apparently Kui. is spelled K O E. K O E, Kui. Yeah. Good morning, <laughs> Auntie Jen from uh, from Richard Carling, Hector, morning, Uncle Richard. Bruce. I'm number one fifty four in your thumbs up meter here. So financial mystery. If, if I get assigned on that call. It's over my cost basis, so I don't mind. And who isn't okay with being handed seven hundred so, bucks? With the only request is to have a little patience. I mean, who? Right? I mean, what? I have a, a question for Richard. Richard, uh, Richard Carlin. Yes. Yeah, so okay. is he a Richard, a Rick, or a Dick? Oh, oh, there you go, Richard. Same. There, there you go. What are you? <laughs> uh oh, uh, oh, geez, uh, Nick. Who told him we were closed? We could have gotten the most confusing morning session on Friday. <laughs> Bobby Atkinson, I gave you YouTube thumbs ups for all the money I've made. Uh, thank you, Bobby. I can't wait for the private jet to pick me up too. Uh, Splair, Uncle splash. Bruce is describing me in five to eight years. So Splair's <laughs> going. I'm going to be sending a private jet to have him visit me there in Dortmund. Uh, Drew, my goal is to get my private pilot's license when options can pay for it. I'll come pick you up in a few years. Uh, just you know, you'll be in a wheelchair at that point in time, Bruce, and be drooling in the corner of that senior center. But don't worry, you'll. You'll never remember that jet ride. Uh, dude, uh, Bruce, I thought these... tell him he was on a jet ride. Bruce, I thought these thumbs-ups uh, you, you were getting 
you you paid by YouTube. Is that not the case? I thought these thumbs ups you were thumbs ups were getting you paid by YouTube. No, 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 no. Well, no, but no. they encourage um, they encourage YouTube to offer you to other people. That's right. Uh, the more Engage. thumbs ups I get, the analytical computers at head office YouTube sees this live show having a huge amount of of back and engagement. forth engagement which is what you're doing here just saying hi is another engagement yes. but these thumbs ups are are a measurement of satisfaction with mm -hmm. the channel's product and the higher that engagement number is versus how many viewers there are watching this is huge they they do the percentages they go mm -hmm. yeah he's got 193 people watching right now but he's only got 10 thumbs ups but if it's 193 people watching and there's 180 thumbs ups, like, whoa, okay, this so guy, hey, you know, yeah. Why is it thumbs up? up? It's only one thumb. Shouldn't it be a thumb up? How many thumb ups did you get? It's only one thumb. They can only give you one thumb up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Richard Carlin says, they call me Richie. Oh, they call you Richie. Yeah. See, I didn't even offer me. Yeah. I'm just glad he's not a dad. Uh, <laughs> dude, uh, okay, Uncle Bruce, I'm working on the private jet for you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Dude, I was kidding about the thumbs up, though. Wouldn't that be a sweet uh, buck of thumb is all I ask? Oh, my God. Can you yes. imagine? Yeah, no, I can't see YouTube doing that. <laughs> there is something out there. I don't know if I, if this is on this channel. I don't think you can do it on the lives. Yeah, see, a live on the live thing, you can send me money, of course, through Super Sticker, Super Chat, uh, and become a member and all that stuff. But um, on my videos, you can actually make donations. Uh, if you watch one of my videos sometime and you like it, you can actually make a thank you donation on a video, which I've never had. I've never had those before. Um, just just mention it. Uh, YouTube talks about, oh, this is a great way you can make all kinds of money. And I'm thinking, well, you want me to ask people to send me money on a video I did, what, a year ago? <laughs> okay, please send me money on a video I made a year ago or a week ago. Please do. That'd be great. I Splayer saying, no, 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 I'm not going to send a jet to send you to Dortmund. No, no. When it when, when it's the restaurant at the next end of the state, I'm willing to fly with my home sweet home pets jet to you because the project will work thanks to you. Oh, okay, oh, my friend. Yes. W w whatever you think, my friend. I'm good. Uh, Zeta State, laugh out loud. Thumb up. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. Nick DeMaurier, thumbs up. It's possessive. Uh, BW, come on, Jen. Keep, the up keep, belongs to the thumb? Uh oh, I, I can't, come on, Jen, keep giving it to him. He's struggling to keep up with you this morning, says BW. Larry, I have two accounts, so it's thumbs for me. Oh, uh, there you see, Larry. There. Larry Titus, you're doing it right. Larry's He's got multiple devices. You see so that? Thumbs. thumbs. Okay, get get all it's five of your uh, get all five of your devices fired up, people, and give me five thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. 200 viewers, 1,000 thumbs up. <laughs> whoa, whoa. YouTube computers are smoke is coming out of those servers. Uh, they've got problems. Technicians are going, what's wrong they with these servers? To, they have to sign on to every account to give me the thumb up. The thumb up on every <laughs> Oh, geez. Uh, Drew, one of these. the thumb is up, <laughs> says Drew. Um, and uh, uh, B, B Tizzle, uh, who, hey, B Tizzle, uh, you rarely talk to us. Did GameStop add new contract expirations recently? Um, uh, I haven't heard. Of Has anyone seen new contract for that? I hadn't seen any. Swear, I said not only for Dortmund, but when you want to visit Europe, I'll be open for it as well. But actually, I'm saving cash with this one room apartment. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a couch. <laughs> that's right. That's right, buddy. You're, you're, it's all good, my friend. Oh, you're, you're, you're eight. You fit in drawers. Oh, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, Nick Dumourier, bums up. Uh, there, okay, you, there go. you go, thumbs dude. Up. The funny thing is, I usually use my index finger to hit the thumbs up. Uh, that's funny. A uh, spicy <laughs> Android one sixty nine on the thumbs up meter. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, this is this. Any other comments you want to make to the gang over here? Uh, well, she's no, watching curling on her phone. Watching curling on my phone. <laughs> she's watching that on her phone right now. There you go. Canada two, Korea one, uh, fifth and there's Nichols. The 
Arthur. flags are flying. Look at all those seats. Look at all those seats cheering for those guys. Look, here comes a shot I'm right here. Watch sure this. You are so Beep. on copyright. Look at that. Look at right that now. shot. <laughs> That's awesome. That is online right now. That is excitement. Oh, and you Mitch. Wait. Show him, oh, show him this oh. shot. I just showed him that shot. No, no, show. The triple takeout. Oh, the I triple just showed, take I showed him the triple takeout. Oh, that's curling that's at its Mark best. Nichols. That's Mark Nichols at its finest right there. Uh, that's what oh, Canadians... Look at this, look at this. That's what Canadians live for. Uh, triple and then the takers. Korean just threw and took our three out. There you go. Those damn Koreans took our three. This is a three. great game. This is a great game. There you go. See? The triple take waka, followed waka, by waka. another triple take nice Yeah. Smell. Yeah. That's why we go to Timmy Horton's get coffee and talk curling all day long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's you. You loser Americans with your college basketball gunk. Uh, you're yeah. losers. March what? March what? <laughs> March, March. Uh, give me a break. It's curling, baby. Hey, it's down, all about curling. Down to the skip, so. Okay. Bye, everybody. Here's right. a thumb up. There's a thumb. Not a thumb up, down. A not thumb a thumb. Up. That that would be a thumb warp. See, like that. So a thumb warp. Thank you, Auntie Jen, so much. Oh man. Oh man. Oh yes, everybody. Uh there you go. Um <laughs> uh, B Tizzle July and October 24. I don't remember seeing those until recently. Oh, maybe some new uh, it's not surprising to me um uh, that new options would show up on GameStop in between um dates. Uh, what I'm waiting for now, of course, are also June 25s to start showing up in the not too distant future. Um, right now, we're showing just January 25s as the longest contract length contract. But we're now seeing uh, for for GameStop for 2023, we see uh, we now see April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December every month for 2023. For 2024, we have January 24, April 2024, July 2024, October 2024, and January 2025. So those are the contracts available on GameStop for now. I'm expecting eventually uh, April uh, 2025s, July 2025s, October 2025s. They will eventually show up. And then in 2024, it'll be every month as well. They'll all fill in. And all these new contracts will show up, giving you all kinds of opportunities to write contracts and make all kinds of money, never to go back to work ever again. How about that? Yes, yes, yes. Merkel, GameStop, still Jan 2025. Flint Creek, I got two thumbs. Both are straight up thumbs. Bizzle, either way, I picked up some 10 I picked up 10 calls from Jan 25 for 1275. GameStop was at 2250 at the time. 25 penny premium for a 22 months premium. It works for me. You got that right. Uh, paying a quarter to get 22 months of time. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. I used to be a lurker. I, I still am a bit used to, to being a lurker, but uh, I'm here, buddy. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the thumbs ups and your support. I appreciate it very, very, very much. Those of you who are here as members, thank you. Thank you for any of you who are, uh, uh, if any of you want to let us know how long you've been a member, thank you very much. Appreciate that, too. All right. A curling, 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 says Larry. Here we go, John Anderson. Hello, Jen. Dude, I've been taking your advice rolling, Uncle Bruce, moving up strike on all my calls. Now that you've given me permission to uh, to uh, lose premium to raise strike, I can't say I feel better, but I'm doing it. There you go. Splair, oh, yeah, for sure. Life will be good after our SPACs will move up and make more and more option cash that we get as extra money. Yes, that's where the private jets come in. By the way, I'm wishing you all already a successful and a relaxed day. I can't wait for you guys to be telling me, Bruce, Bruce, I've been listening to you for three years now. And uh, uh, these uh, SoFi shares, oh, man, I hung in there and I bought them and I kept buying them. And I did the same with 23andMe and I did the same with Spire and Rocket Lab and ATIP. And now I am writing thousands of contracts every month because of you and I'm bringing in $150,000 of premiums every month, $1.8 million a year. And I just got myself a net jet, a net jets uh, card to fly for 50 hours for the next two years on net jets. Where should we go to have a get together? Um, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, just waiting for you guys to reach that level of success where you guys will say, I know you don't write contracts, but 
I do, and uh, we're going out. Um, let's take you. Why don't we fly to the Cayman Islands, and why don't you show me around where you used to live in the Cayman Islands? Why don't you show me around? I've always wanted to know what the Cayman Islands look like. We'll just fly in on the private jet, spend a couple of nights at the uh, Ritz-Carlton Hotel on Seven Mile Beach, and show me what it's like down there. I've always wondered. And then I'm waiting for some of you to say, you know, you keep talking about Zermatt and how nice that is. Why don't we grab that private jet that I have access to, and why don't we fly over to Switzerland and uh, let's land in Zurich and take that beautiful train ride you talk about all the time together into Zermatt. Show me around Zermatt. This sounds pretty cool. Uh, I, I'm just waiting. I, I'm, I'm here. Uh, Jen and I are here. <coughs> we just we just want to say, <coughs> just want to say, hurry the hell up with that. Okay, um, get up your your contract numbers so that you're bringing in enough dough to afford this kind of stuff. We can't wait to go with you for that. Oh, should be fun. All right, there you go. Woo-hoo. Uh, welcome to the party, pals. Uh, AI is down 265 to 2230. Uh, Unity is down 204, down over 6%, approaching 7% loss today. 30, 38 uh, share on Unity. Uh, that has got to be making some of your options look really good out there. Sixtera is 30.7 cents a share, down 2.3 cents. GameStop down 89 to 21.46. SoFi 570 down 19. Tesla down 445. Oh, it's a red day out there. Uh, the Dow is up 68, but it's a red day out there. Um, we've got uh, ATIP down six tenths of a penny. Apple down 127. HPQ holding a seven cent gain. Uh, First Republic Bank down 16 cents. Uh, the uh, the uh, um, the WAL stock, the Western Alliance Bank Corp. It's now down 14%, down 475 to 2880, getting hit again. Uh, it is going lower and lower. Bank crises have not gone away in America at this point in time. Little nightmares are still surfacing, causing pressure. Um, Google down 8 cents, Moderna down 121, Cisco up 35 cents, Pfizer up 94, IBM up 93. Microsoft down 160, uh, ME down three and a half, Matterport down nine and a half, Rocket Lab down 15, Smart Rent down three and a half, and Spires up seven tenths of a penny. Amazon is down two bucks, Home Depot down three bucks, Netflix down 650, Vanek Vectors down 420, Adobe down 215, Goldman down a buck 20, Boeing down a 140, Facebook, Meta down 117 a share, Royal Caribbean down a dollar. We've got uh, uh, Target down 43 cents. JP Morgan holding a 70 cent gain. Costco up 174. Walmart up 229. Disney up three cents. Nvidia down 770. American Airlines 1402 down 14 cents at the moment. With the Dow up 91. S and P down six and a half. Nasdaq down 92. The two markets at polar opposites. The growth stocks are down. The dividend paying stocks are up. <coughs> And here we go, all kinds of fun. All right, that's the story uh, as I see it here. Um, BW, I'm trying to buy back uh, GameStop July 20s, uh, my short uh, poor man cover call, and roll to December, January uh, 25s with the stock slowly dropping. Better to stink bid as it falls and rewrite on uptick or wait and watch as, uh, as gaining dollars on the a short put or short thing falling or roll. Uh, lots of questions with codes and codes. I don't quite know everything that's being asked of me here. Um, uh, December, January 25 is the stock. So you're, you're trying to, you're trying to, what's this, trying to buy back GameStop uh, 20s uh, and roll to December 25s. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, okay, so you're trying to buy back your July calls. And right, December's, and you're trying to move up in price. I get it. Now I get it. Okay, yes. And the stock's 21.39, down 96 cents on the GameStop shares. And you're watching your contracts in the meantime. And I see what you're doing. Okay, um, good strategy for sure. Uh, keep an eye on that. Um, you know, stink bid to buy back, and then stink offer on the sell side. Uh, I hear you. Uh, you've got work to do here. Mirko sounds like the two trips with Beach Boy and Alberta already planned out. Laughing out loud, Hector. Neat, neat, neat. Uh, there you go. Uh, away we are uh, on the fun brigade. 28.62, 28.58, down five bucks on uh, 
on Western Alliance Bank Corp approaching a 15% drop on the session. Not good. Uh, there you have it. We have 178 thumbs ups. Thank you. 22 to go. And DH Ruta member for 15 months. The, the big banner here, there is no knee in the super chat. Grievance, uh, there you have it. Um, thank you all for uh, for being here um, at the moment and uh, and being part of the uh, the gang. Uh, the knee emoji attack uh, has to happen from time to time. Uh, looks like uh, J, JR is doing it. J, uh, DH is in there. And here comes some more. Uh, the uh, uh, knee emojis are coming out. Larry Titus is on the knee emoji attack. Here we go. No stopping the knee emoji attack here. Mirko is on it. Uh, Richard Carlin, TJ, watch out, people. Look out, YouTube. Here, your computers are going to go nuts over there at head office. A uh, spicy Android is hitting the knee emojis. So is the big E. Uh, Splayers on it. Here they come. Neat, 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 neat. And the folks in uh, in uh, YouTube are going, what, what's this noise? This neat e shouting going on. What's happening? Neat, 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 neat. They're happening. It's happening everywhere. 179 thumbs ups. Thank you. Splayers. Zzz, 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 zzz. Here they go. Uh, yes, indeed. The knee emojis are underway and the curling rocks are flying on the channel. There's no doubt about that. We got curling going on here. Z, 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 curling is going on. More cowbell. More more cowbell. Here we go. Cowbell. More cowbell. Look out. Look out. Thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. 180 thumbs ups. Thank you guys for helping out with that. You can hit these knee emojis, all these emojis, all you want. Uh, thank you all so much. Making money on this channel. Way to go, you guys. Giddy up, everybody. Uh, thank you all so much for your help today. Larry Titus is smiling. Karen is hitting the emojis. Neat, 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 neat. They're just coming through. There's no stop. It's unbelievable. It's out of control. It's totally out of control. 2840 down 512 on the Western Alliance Bank. We've got uh, the Dow only up 45 points now. We're uh, down 330 on the AI shares, 2165. Unity, 2997 down 245 today. Seven plus percent going for eight percent drop today on Unity. What a run! Uh, those contracts are falling. Thanks for deciphering my gobbledygook gibberish, says BW. <laughs> it's what I seem to do around here. Uh, with all of you guys, the gobbledygook gibberish, which I put a provide and you provide, and we all provide. Thank you, everybody, for thumbs ups, uh, knee emoji attacks, and everything else. Um, hope you're making money today. Hope you're having fun here. This market is under pressure. We're only up 34 on the Dow. Finally, the Dow is reaching back, coming back to the rest of the market. The NASDAQ is off 0.97 of a percentage point, 117 point drop. Oil down 73 cents to 79.98. Oil under 80. Uh, the party is over over there, I think. It won't last much longer. Um, Credit Savage, Uncle Bruce, you can be proud of me. Uh, two days ago, I saw a breakdown on AI and dropped rumors of a, of a hit piece. So I bought 30 puts for 25 cents each yesterday, and it dropped big time. I just sold the puts for $4.50 a shot. I made 13 grand. You're starting to sound like a manager over in Blythe. Uh, this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Credit Savage, for letting us know how well you are doing. This is going to help you with your vacation for the kids uh, over in Hawaii um, and making it even more fun. And, of course, options you've written and everything else. Wow, there's all kinds of money being made there. Way to go, pal. Making some dough. Uh, lame Duck 181 on the thumbs up meter. Giddy up, everybody. We're down 318 on AI at 2177. Unity down 244 to 29.98. What a run on this stock. We're down 92 on GameStop, 21.43 now. Uh, we're off 21 on SoFi, 568 Bargoon, and Tesla 187.61 down 497 today. Uh, there it is. Zeta State, are you the new manager? Uh, Savage, are you the new manager now? Uh, way to go. Making manager money. This is good stuff. Uh, learning from, from all this. Keep it going, kids. Make a ton of money. BW Zeta State. I know others are there. Just finally dropping off again after the past week. Peeved. I didn't exit out pre GameStop earnings when I had over fifty percent profits. Lesson learned: take profits. There you go. Giddy on up. 
Uh, GameStop, 2144, down 91. Apple is off uh, today, 147 to 164. HPQ holding a nine cent gain. Um, uh, Google down seven. Moderna down 197 at the moment. Um, Microsoft down 197 to 285 at the moment as well. Uh, Credit Savage laughing about maybe except that I use my own um, DD and I don't ask 200 people what to do and I make a bonehead move. I don't blame you or other people. Laugh out loud. <laughs> No conspiracy theories in your in your trading uh, ways. I understand. It's all good. However you folks do it, just make money is all I ask. Um, get so rich that you have people handling your affairs. And uh, even if I get a communique from someone who represents you and they say, uh, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so would request the presence of you and, uh, and Jennifer if you wouldn't mind uh, coming over to the Palm Springs International Airport to the executive uh, department of our uh, airport, we have a Gulf Stream 4 waiting to take you to Paris this weekend so you can get together with us. Uh, maybe I can reply to something like that. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, thank you all um, for all your support. <laughs> Please get rich. Please get rich really rich. Uh, that would be nice, everybody. Get rich, rich, rich. Uh, Garf, uh, BW, I'm waiting for the same issue. I'm waiting for more decline right now. Uh, swear, I'm sneezing. Uh, get in the cover. Uh, more neat, 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 More knee emojis. There you go. Uh, down. We're up 67 on the Dow, uh, down 12 now on S&P. We're down 120 on NASDAQ. 1% drop on NASDAQ right now. Uh, GameStop, 2146-ish uh, at the moment, down 89 cents. The volume on GameStop today is 1.5 million. The low, 2123, set 15, 20 minutes ago. We're at 2146 only. No recovery of significance happening over there. AI down 335, 2160. Unity, 2988, uh, down 254. The lower Unity gets, the more of a buy it becomes. You write options to the 30s, the 31s, the 32s. AI comes down here to the 20 mark, 21. You buy the stock, right? 23s, 24s, 25s for big, fat, juicy premiums, but go out a ways and take big money off the table. That's how you do it to protect yourself against downside moves and enjoy premium uh, to you. Uh, this is what it's about, kids. Making money. Tesla, 187.72. Giddy up, uh, those of you who are sitting on Tesla contracts, well done, everyone. Uh, just be patient, cross your arms, and watch more profits come your direction. Because that's, I think, the direction we're headed here towards you. Uh, fantastic, everybody. Credit Savage, no conspiracy theories here. Just my own due diligence and footwork. I am in, since I am in San Francisco, I and I can go to lots of these companies and ask people how they're working there and how well run they are. A splare, uh, thumbs ups, neat, neat, neat. Splare. Unruz, what, what do you think dropping can continue at GameStop? Looks at least juicy on calls and puts. I, I, I think so. I, I really do. I don't know what's been holding it up, but we'll see. This market is going to back off. This stock will give up a few more bucks. I, you, you could tell a lot about a company by the way the employees act and how happy they seem to be working there. It's all about the culture. You got it. That's no question about it. That's exactly true. Um, that's exactly how you figure this out. Um, Giddy up, twenty-one fifty-ish uh, on uh, GameStop. The uh, the high of the session for GameStop today was twenty-two dollars and forty-seven cents. The low twenty-one twenty-three, and we're sitting at twenty-one fifty-five with a twenty cent uh, recovery. That's all, not a lot, or thirty cent recovery. Not a lot uh, to get excited about there on the GameStop shares. The AI down 329, uh, Unity down 249. They definitely are taking a hit today. Um, Sixtera still down at 30.6 cents a share. GameStop 2159 now. SoFi 569 down 20. Tesla 187.80 down 478. ATIP 26.1 down six tenths of a penny. Apple down 173. Uh, HPQ up a dime uh, at the moment. That is where we're at right now. 2850 on that Western Alliance Bank Corp down 15% getting hit over there. That's it. That's it. Uh, Splare, well, it had good earnings and earnings some support in that range thanks to Hogwarts. So that may be one thing that's holding it up here. Maybe, but, uh, you know, the company doesn't speak as we know. I mean, they don't talk. So they will be subject to market pressures. 
And if the Dow and the S&P and NASDAQ are going to go lower here, then GameStop will drift lower along with the party. Not that they will lead it lower. They'll just go with it. And, uh, you know, I can see GameStop at $19, $20. I don't see that as being outrageous. But look, $21.59 is where it's at now. And uh, it's backed off today and yesterday. So there you have it. All righty, kids. There's the story. We have 184 thumbs ups that have come into the house today. Got to say thank you for this, uh, everybody. Uh, only 16 away from 200. Uh, this is so cool. Thank you all for getting me this close to the 200 number we always strive for. It is much, much appreciated. Uh, uh let's see credit savage all i can say is i'm honored that people are, are making money by following my moves and by paying attention to the due diligence i drop on here from time to time we all make money when we all contribute it helps exactly sir that is exactly correct uh we love sharing that around here and thank you for those of you who are so kind and generous to jen and i um we appreciate uh, all of that as members of this channel donators and of course attendees of the class this Saturday as an example and if you are interested in having a one-on-one -on -one session with myself let me know with a private email when you'd like to have one of those and we'll set you that we'll set you up for that whenever you're ready in the meantime let's keep making money in this market the Nasdaq is off 1.04% 126 points down Oil down 45 cents a share, uh, 45 cents a barrel, I should say. S&P down 13 points. The NAS, the Dow is hanging on at 62 points on the upside. That's all it is. Uh, there you go. Um, and uh, Splair, I'm agreeing with all the comments from Credit Savage today. Right on. Uh, AI down 324 at 2171. We've got Unity uh, down 250 at 2991. At the moment, uh, GameStop at 2156, SoFi 568 down 21, Tesla down 491 now, 18767. Everybody, that's where we're at right now. Watching these markets backing off, which means options are dropping in price. Those of you who have written calls, you're sitting out there with now as a group on this channel. Thousands of call contracts have been written in the last uh, month or two. I mean thousands and many of you are in the green already you're noticing the depreciation keeps coming your way time depreciation is the big winner for you guys in the end that is your secret weapon to success dips don't hurt uh to speed things up yes i agree um but you know what rollovers are another smart way of uh, adding to the bottom line here uh for your accounts and so Congratulations on a whole bunch of you folks sitting on cash balances. You're doing well. You've increased the number of deep in the money calls you've acquired and you're writing more. Fantastic. Saying goodbye to your bosses forever. Well done, everyone. This is the name of the game here, taking control of your life. Whether you're 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, it doesn't matter how old you are. Taking control of your assets and making them perform for you so that you can be the person that goes on a jet ride from time to time. Might not be a private jet, but it's still a jet ride to somewhere else to go for a nice getaway. All paid for by option gamblers. Love this. Uh, thanks, everyone, from John Anderson. Uh, Credit Savage. Also, I never go on margin to make moves. It's all my money, baby. I only use margin to buy back covered calls and immediately sell more covered calls to make more money and cover right away. I won't get caught with my pants down. Nice done. I see done credit savage. That my babe, the credit savage. Yes, I just love this channel. I love this channel. Sharing upside stories that are available to all of us. We're at 2839 on that uh, Western Alliance uh, Bank Corp. That stock is now down 15.3%, uh, down 513 a share. On 5.2 million shares traded, uh, the low of the day, 28.25, and it's at 28.39. What banking issues are still a factor uh, to watch uh, here. Uh, Credit Severance, my trip to Waikiki in June is now fully funded by option gamblers. Thank you, my kind friends. Well done, my friend. Well, well done. Um, thank you all for joining uh, Jen and I today again. 
Uh, we are so appreciative of your attendance here. Thank you for these thumbs ups. 185 have come in here. Now 186. We're 14 away from 200 thumbs ups. Thank you all so much for helping out the thumbs up meter today, getting us closer and closer and closer to 200. Uh, Brian, I'm number 185. I'm late. Uh, but thank you, Brian, for coming in with the thumbs up. It is appreciated. I can only say neat, neat, neat to all of you. Uh, thank you all for uh, following this channel, as you always do. Your kind words. I look forward to the class this Saturday. Don't forget, tonight, I will be live at 7 o'clock versus 8 o'clock for the primetime show for Gold Bagel members. So if you're a Gold Bagel member, join me tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time, not 8 Remember, I'm an hour early today. If anyone could kindly post that message over on the Discord chat group, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, please uh, let me know if you can do that out there. Please uh, send the, the Discord group the message that the primetime show is on at 7 o'clock tonight, not 8 o'clock, just in case people have missed the announcement here. Otherwise, uh, we're shut down um, on Friday. Uh, Friday is Easter Monday, uh, Easter Friday. I will not be on the air this Friday, but I will be here tomorrow, Thursday, for the final show of the week, and I look forward to seeing all of you there. 187 thumbs-ups now have come in. A couple more have dribbled in here. Thank you all. 13 away. If you're watching on the rerun, hit that thumbs-up button for us. Get us over 200. It is very much appreciated. Splare, thank you for the knee emojis. And everyone else for your thumbs ups and kind words today. Thank you so very much for being part of this show and this channel. We'll see you next time. Keep writing those contracts and don't fear the upside. Always be writing. We'll talk to you soon, everybody. Goodbye for now.